This lesson will teach you all about how to add Fred's that prove your topic sentence in your writing. Fred's is an acronym. It stands for facts, reasons, examples, and details. Facts are information that we know is true. Reasons are our beliefs and opinions. Examples are things that you have heard, read about, seen, or actually done. Details give extra information about the topic. Why is it important to include Fred's in our writing? Well, Fred's support your fact or your topic sentence in your paragraph. And you have no doubt put many Fred's into your brain frames already along with your research. Now you need to decide which one of those Fred's helps support or prove your fact and then include those specific Fred's in your paragraph. Let's practice identifying which statements are facts, reasons, examples, and details. The first one, snow is made of frozen water. This is a fact. You can prove it. It's information that we know is true. Number two, no two snowflakes are alike. This is a detail. It's extra information about snowflakes. Number three, for a good party, serve hot dogs and ice cream sundaes. This one is a reason. It's your belief and opinion about how a good party should be hosted. Someone else could have different ideas. Here's a bit more practice. Number one, mice are one of the many animals that cats like to eat. This is an example. Maybe you've seen a mouse eat a cat or you've read about it or you've heard about it. Number two, in the fall, leaves turn bright colors. This is a fact. It's information we know is true and we can prove. Number three, German shepherds can weigh up to 100 pounds. This is a detail. It's extra information about German shepherds. Number four, Legos and Connects are two great games to play inside. This is a reason. It's a belief or opinion particular to you. Other people could not be so interested in Connects. They could think Legos and Monopoly are better games. One last series of examples to practice. The first one, recess should be longer because exercise is good for you. This is a reason. It's a belief or an opinion particular to the person. Someone else could believe that recess should be longer for a different reason. Number two, the spider monkey uses its long tail to swing from tree to tree. This is an example. You probably read or heard about or saw a spider monkey moving between the trees using its tail. The third one says fish are good pets because they don't make a mess. This is a reason. It's a belief and an opinion because someone else could think that snakes were good pets for that same reason. So it's unique to the person and it has to do with his or her opinion. Key points to keep in mind about Fred's. You don't need to include all of the different types of Fred's or even one of each of the Fred's. You could have two details and one example or one reason and two examples in your paragraph and that's okay. Also keep in mind that not every idea on your brain frame, especially when you're doing your research initially, needs to end up in your essay. Choose the ones that best support your fact or your topic sentence and only include those specific uh, Fred's. And then the last thing to remember, at least three Fred's need to be included in a paragraph. So you need to develop your main point, your fact, with lots of supporting information. So those Fred's are super important to have in your paragraph. You need at least three to have enough detail in your paragraph for your reader to understand your point. Hopefully this video has allowed you to see the importance of Fred's and made you understand what Fred's are and how you can use them in your writing.